Right guys, back for another Dokkan battle video. We've got some breaking news. It seems as if Raditz is going to be the next Dokkan fest for JP. Uh, now before we actually start with what I think about this, I do want to apologise with my voice. It sounds very raspy or it sounds as if I have a sore throat sweet in my mouth because I do. Again, my throat is very sore. So I for one am... I think I'm happy, I'm glad that an underrepresented or undervalued or unhypish character is getting a Dokkan fest, right? Last year it was with Dell, seems like this year it's a Raditz, um, it's always a good thing. Um, but again, I'm just hoping that one day they're going to drop a Dragon Ball Saga Dokkan fest. So, uh, this is interesting on so many different levels, right? Uh, for starters, this is the first Saiyan Saga Dokkan fest. Which is crazy because we're getting this as a Dokkan fest over Akai and Goku Reddit Vegeta. Uh, this is also interesting just because out of the four Dragon Ball Z arcs, uh, at this point, every one of those arcs have a dual Dokkan Fest, except the Saiyan Saga. Could this be the build-up towards uh, a potential dual Dokkan Fest for the Saiyan Saga for the Worldwide Celebration? Maybe New Year's, we'll have to wait and see, but this is definitely very, very interesting. So, we've pulled up Raditz here. These are the current Raditzes that we have in game, and I thought it'd be a good idea to pull these units up just to see if there are any correlations or... Uh, any abilities that we can draw from previous Radices, right? Remember, with units like Gogeta, we know that they will usually come out with the ability to be type effective or have the ability to counter, right? With UI Goku, we know that they're synonymous with dodging. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to take a look at actually what Raditz can do. Um, uh, now, it's really strange, right? Because this Raditz... Um, it's probably the best, right, out of the three? I mean, th the thing with this Raditz is that he, at least he has some value, right? Because he gets the... Yeah, he gets two key, he stuns for one turn, then he reduces damage received by 50% when facing two more enemies. That's still really powerful, right, in some Super Battle Road stages. Now, his defense isn't that great. Uh, and easier would sort this out very comfortably, right? Because then his stats would go up. Again, his defensive stats are really high. And they'd probably just slap or raise his defense on a super attack effect. Or a revised super attack effect need to look a lot, lot better. Uh, but this Raditz, um, primarily, he's what, a stunner? Yeah, he's primarily he's meant to be used in Super Battle Road where he gets access to the extra key, he gets a stun, and he gets damage reduction. And then he gets the additional 50% attack and then a 50% chance of performing a crit when there's a Goku's family or Namekian's category. I mean, that is, of course, a reference to his fight against Goku or Piccolo. Uh, take a look at this Raditz. He's actually an AoE, right? Yeah, and this is where like super attacks are different. This guy has what a Saturday crash, whereas this guy has a weekend. The you know the one. So I suppose if we get a Doka Fest Raditz with this type of a super attack, he'll be an AoE unit. If it's not that, then it'll just be like a regular, uh, regular super attack. Now this guy again, his main premise is just an AoE. Uh, he does have this debuff, which is I suppose semi useful, but of course, I feel like ten percent most of the time it's not going to be that noticeable you probably want to be around 20 percent which is where tech super saiyan 4 gogeta and physical omegas debuff applies and then we have this str great at radish with just easy aid now this guy's a nuka and i don't foresee this dog confessed radish being a great ape unit so i don't know if they're gonna go for this nuking type effect but from the tur radish that we currently have in game i think we can make a strong assumption that he'll either be good for super battle Rod with his high damage reduction He'll be an AoE unit, or he'll be some type of nuka. Again, this is the first of its kind, a Dokkan Fest Raditz, so you can't really infer too much from these three different TURs. Now, I also did actually really quickly pull up the celebration from last year, right, which was uh, this celebration right here, if we just scroll all the way up. Oh wait, I missed it, there we are. Uh, yeah, SDR Videl, right, was the Dokkan Fest last year, and that's why I mentioned it's very apt, I think, placement for a Dokkan Fest Raditz just because this is presumably the time to drop some unhyped characters uh, but the reason why I pull this up if we just scroll all the way down to over here we did actually get a legendary summon banner associated with this celebration now who the Dokkan Fest I said sorry not Dokkan Fest but who the part to LR could be it's up in the air, right? I mean, this is most definitely going to be from the first act of the Saiyan Saga. So I think it's most likely that we'll get to see maybe a Goku and Piccolo LR. I know actually a lot of people have been wanting a Goku and Piccolo LR from the Saiyan Saga. And if we take a look at the version Z, the initial version Z update, 
there was that Goku and Piccolo unit, or that Piccolo unit who had that unit super attack, um, right, the special beam cannon. I would not be surprised if like that's the SSR uh, for a Goku and Piccolo LR. So uh, that's going to be interesting to look forward to. I suppose they could also throw in a, maybe like a unit super attack with a Gohan or make Gohan a part of the card. Uh, we do actually have that STR Prime Battle LR Gohan as well. Um, so uh, things are tying in very, very nicely to the Saiyan Saga. Now, uh, the only other thing that I actually want to talk about is what this guy's leader skill could be. Um, are there actually any differences in the categories? I wouldn't think so, right? Yeah, it's just this guy picking up giant eight power. Uh, as for what this guy could lead again, he's probably going to come out at 200% leader skill. I'm thinking, uh, truthfully, uh, Goku's family doesn't really need a leader, neither do you. Low class warriors, it's not a good category team, but eventually it's going to need a 200% leader skill, right? So I feel like this is maybe a potential option. Maybe it's like low class warriors and then space traveling warriors and then pure Saiyans is the additional HP attack and defense, right? Maybe it's Terrifying Conquerors or Space Traveling Warriors. Maybe that would actually be a better leader skill and they could reserve that for some sort of Kaioken Goku, right? Because again, it's probably best, it's in their best interest to drop a, a character like this which has a phenomenal leader skill rather than a middling leader skill. So adding low class warriors will definitely uh, make that leader skill a lot, or have a lot less value, right? Again, with a Kaioken Goku, for example, they could push him out of a low class warrior leader skill. It wouldn't really matter because he's a Goku, so you'd have good links and they have plenty of categories. So maybe Space Traveling Wars and Terrifying Conquerors and then the additional 30% attack and defense to Pure Saiyans. If they wanted to be uh, a bit weird, they could probably even make this the first Saiyan Saga leader, which again would be interesting. Um, it's just we don't currently have one, so that's why I'm thinking maybe they'd reserve that for like an LR. But again, with Dokkan nowadays, they are trying to funnel out as many different uh, leaders for a particular category, right? We have like a plenty of so that we can have plenty of options now in terms of a side banner unit my best guess is a napper of some kind but maybe it's a napper again maybe if they don't want to go for a goku and piccolo lr maybe it's goku and piccolo as a side banner unit what'd be interesting is that if actually it was the farmer with a shotgun that'd be very very interesting but that's pretty much it uh, i presume in terms of the schedule just pull up the calendar here. Okay, that one's the lot. Alright, so uh, the unit will probably drop on the 31st or the 1st. Dokkan Fest typically drop on the Thursday. But I don't think they drop the data download and the Twitter preview tomorrow. So maybe we see Twitter preview tomorrow, data download on Thursday, and then unit on the Friday. Or we just see both of them tomorrow with the unit dropping on the Thursday. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.